Digital Bay. Hey, next up, one of the hottest acts in Cleveland, Ohio, and we are thrilled to welcome Maria Borgio. Maria! Right here! Yay. Thanks, everybody. Oh, God. I try... <laughs> I was in the back of the room. I'm a little winded. I'm 35. It's over. Um, <laughs> I've accepted it. Uh, I, I try not to be jaded. I want to be a positive person, and yet every time I see a woman, you know, walking down the street, I think, she's dead. She's a dead woman. I hope she scrapes hard enough to get the DNA under her nails <laughs> so that they can find him. I don't know if you know that, ladies, but you got to get the hair by the root. That helps. <laughs> and every time I observe that, I'm by myself, and I'm like, I'm next, I'm next, so I hope I enjoy this day. <laughs> Is death a little morbid for you at a comedy show? Well, accept it, I have. We have to enjoy ourselves, don't we? Um, yeah, so I don't have a best friend. Uh, I know, it's not because I'm mean, I have friends, I just, I don't have a best friend, because I don't believe in categorizing people in masses or even in little groups in my life. It's just strange. I have friends, you know, and your friends are good for what they're good for, and then, you know, that's it. But to get, it's weird, like, what if you're at a party and you have all your friends and you're introducing them to each other, and, oh, this is my friend Heather. Yeah, she's really nice, and this, but this is my best friend Stacy. You know, you know, in fact, fuck Heather, because <laughs> I don't even know why she's here. You don't have to remember her name or anything. Like, we just call her when she's bored, but Stacy is awesome. You should really talk to her. Um, <laughs> oh, man. My boyfriend's poor. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's okay. It's real love. Um, but he's creative, so that's all right. For my birthday, I got his Walgreens points. <laughs> so I got a couple dollars off that eye makeup remover I had my eye on, so that was good. I don't have penis envy. Um, I know what it is. I've heard of it. Um, I don't. I, I don't want any part of that uh, tackle. But um, what I get it once in a while, I have to admit. It, it's really rare. I have, I'm tattooed, but I'm employably tattooed, is what I like to call it. You can't see them unless you're really special. And um, so I have a little tiny tattoo on the back of my neck, and uh, when I wear a ponytail, you can see it. And so I'm in line one day at the gas station, and this uh, I, I, I had a ponytail in, and all of a sudden on the back of my neck, I just felt this swipe, this finger just swipe the back of my neck. Now, who just whistled at that, you creepy motherfucker? Seriously. No, nobody likes it creepy. Okay, you're the asshole I need to talk to. You're the person, you're one of the dudes who thinks this is okay. It's never okay to touch strangers, ever. Special little people or women, anybody. It's never okay. Just don't touch anybody, everybody. I thought we learned that a long time ago. Just keep our hands to ourselves. So I'm standing in line innocently, and I feel this creepy-ass finger on the back of my neck. And I was startled, you know, and I turned around. And I was like, yo! And this is this dude who kind of looked like him in a weird way. And... <laughs> and... Uh, I, it was just a dude who should have known better. Anyway, that you all, you should all know better. But so I, I just, I go, yo! You know, and he's like, well, I just wanted to see where your tattoo was. Like, that was his whole, no apology, just no, you know, like, he just gets to touch people randomly. And that is when I got penis envy. Because I just, at that moment, I just wanted to morph into, like, a giant biker dude with a ponytail and a neck tattoo and be like, you like touching things? I like touching things. <laughs> Let's touch some things. <laughs> and then he pees himself, and I turn back into a lady. <laughs> it's all. <laughs> it's, that's the only time I get it. Um, I, I enjoy technology, like the next American, I guess, but I, it's, it's way too involved in our lives, way too involved. It's too much. You can't even ignore people anymore. Remember those days when you could ignore a call? And you had screening. Now people can see when, they, when you read their text and when you read their email. There's no hiding from that. I just have to keep going, I was high, I forgot. I just have to keep... <laughs> I'm running out of excuses. You know? Yeah, I know, you know. <laughs> we have that in common. Um, but, you know, my girlfriend got married in Maui. And who can afford to go to that? You know what I mean? So she also... But you were also invited to uh, watch it online. 
I know. Isn't that a little, like, just for a wedding, it's kind of, I don't know, it's inhuman. I don't know, in a way. I just think it takes the, you know, the personal touch out of such a big event in your life. You can watch it online and streaming and, you know, so I sent her a virtual gift. <laughs> and she's never going to get. It's just too much. It's, the, you know, the eye wedding and then it's going to be the eye birth and you can just tune in, get that tight shot. <laughs> no, watch it. It's a miracle. Watch it. And then it'll be the eye funeral. That's the last thing that's coming. You know it's coming. It's just going to be a, a coffin cam, and you can just get online and <laughs> be a bunch of pedestals with laptops, and you just send your condolences. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. BRB. <laughs> There's going to be a few likes. It's going to be awkward. <laughs> awkward. Oh, man. I try not to complain about being a chick. It's not that bad. Uh, in this country, anyway. You know what I mean? Don't you feel like sometimes like really grateful that you can just walk in, in public sometimes? I'm, I, I, I recognize that. I really do. I, I was mistaken for a hooker once when I lived in New York. Um, I, uh, you know, and, and at first, it was, I thought it was a sweet thing. You know how in a movie, like, uh, uh, they show that scene where, you know, a guy and a girl make eyes across a room and then, you know, they meet and they fall in love. And that never really happens, especially to him. M normally, it's... <laughs> normally, you just get drunk and hook up and they're still here and, you know, so that's how it works. Uh, but anyway, this guy made eye contact from across the street in Times Square in New York and, you know, across the street to approach me. I'm like, wow, this is really happening. And asked if he could bang me for money. <laughs> Very politely, though. It was awkward. It was weird how he was, he, and I wasn't even threatened. He was very polite. If you could ever ask for a woman for sex and for money, he was very polite about it. He was very non-threatening. He, he was about 24 years old. Uh, he had a little round baby face still, you know, and he was a Middle Eastern dude, but he had a Yankee cap on like he's on our side. <laughs> you know, this really sweet kind of kid. And he walks up and he's like, excuse me, don't take this the wrong way, but I'm new in the city and I'm looking for ladies. <laughs> and he just held it and that's when I knew it was real. And uh, <laughs> at first I was flattered, you know, and I thought about it because I'm broke, but uh, <laughs> I am very patriotic, so I, you know, thanked him politely, of course. And I sent him to the right area of New York where the hookers are now. They're not in Times Square anymore. They're in the meatpacking district if you're ever visiting. Isn't that a good association, too? The hookers are in the meatpacking. All right, so that's how you'll remember everybody. And uh, anyway, so the kid, uh, I, I just, I don't know. I, I couldn't blame him, too. The way, you're, you know, the way you dress sometimes, girls, you've got to take responsibility for it. And if you want to look cute, you're going to hear comments. And the way I was dressed, you know, he could see my whole face. <laughs> and um, <laughs> he was confused. <laughs> it's not his fault. I was asking for it. All right, thank you very much, everyone. Enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you for coming. Have a good night. Keep it going. Maria Borgio. Yay. Come back when she's working here. All right? She is phenomenal.